what determined your um, drift into Buddhism? Well, Maharaj, you kind of sent me to Bulgaria. That was the first link, actually. You know, uh, KD and I were hanging out in Nainital. Maharaji jowed us with Bhagwandas, who was going to Bogaya. And he left Bogaya, and we stayed. And that was the first connection. Is that funny? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there I met Anagrika Manindra, yep. and Joseph, yep. who wasn't happy to see other people coming at that. <laughs> he wanted the place all to himself. And uh, and then the Goenka uh, courses. And I also uh, met that fantastic Lama, Kunu, Kunu Rinpoche, who was a super humble saint, as it turned out, but he didn't advertise. And um, he was such an unusual fellow. He, uh, he was old, wasn't he? He was old. He was a, a Tibetan Buddhist who was born in India, in a, a culturally Tibetan area of India, Kuno. Yeah. And who spent years studying with the most learned uh, people in each of the four main traditions of Vajrayana. Yeah. So everybody claimed him, like the Galupas and the... Kagyus and Nyingmas, everybody saw him as one of them. He was what's called Rime, which is beyond. And he also, you know, beyond sectarianism, he also lived with Sadis for three years. So he was he was quite remarkable. And I think he sh may have shared, I mean, I never knew, but I think he kind of shared Maharaji's attitude, which was that the particular path a person is on isn't the important thing. It's whether they're really using it or not. I mean, Maharaji never tried to convert people to Hinduism or to anything. No, no, never. Yeah. Except Hanuman. Um, it's his path. Mm -hmm. But did he say to people, you know, you should, maybe to you, you should worship Hanuman? Maybe he did. I, I never. I think he did. Uh -huh. He never said he should. You should. I don't. I don't think, think he ever said you should do no. anything except you should go away now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>